that. Now we'll just look at the distributive property with fractions. Let's go to quickly review the distributive property. If you have 2 times 4 plus 6, you might want to just use PEMDAS because PEMDAS, the order of operations says you've got to add, do the parentheses first. Sorry, you've got to do parentheses first. So you're going to add inside there and you get 2 times 10, right? Obviously, 2 times 10 is 20. So that's one way of doing it. The distributive property says if you want, you can multiply the 2 in against this number and then this number. So you can get uh, 2 times 4 plus 2 times 6. Okay. And 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 6 is. Or, aha, start again. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 6 is 12. And 8 and 12 gives. It's the same thing, isn't it? Right? So the distributive property does indeed work where you take this number and multiply it by everything inside there. Okay? Um, another quick way to look at it is if you had a bag, okay, and then inside the bag there is an apple and a banana. Okay, that's a bag with an apple and a banana in there. If somebody put the number 10 outside here, what are they trying to communicate? See, it's kind of like. Uh, let me draw you a picture. It's kind of like, here's a bag, here's an apple, here's a banana, okay? And if somebody comes along and draws, writes the number 10 there, right beside the bag, what are they trying to say? Are they trying to say there's 10 bags, right? 10 bags, and so that means there's going to be 10 apples plus 10 bananas. Does that make sense? Yep. So if I was doing 10 times A plus B, I could take this 10 and multiply it in here and here, and I get 10A plus 10B. 10 apples and 10 bananas. Anyway, that's it. The distributive property. So if I had 4 times this thing, the 4 is touching the parentheses. So I've got to multiply the 4 times this and then times this. Okay. Now 4 times 3, hey that's 12, let's just write that down. But then I've got, so I've, I've done the 4 times 3, then I'm going to do 4 times 3 quarters, right? So I get 4 times 3 is 12 and then 4 times that is that. And now I'm going to calculate this. Now hold on a second, can you write 4 as a fraction? 4 as a fraction is 4 over 1, right? Can you cross cancel common factors? Yes, indeed. 4 into 4 goes once, 4 into 4 goes once. So you've got this is 12, and then it's minus, and then you you've got to see you're, you're following the order of operations, PEMDAS, so you're multiplying here, see. 1 times 3 is 3, over 1 times 1. I guess you could write 3 over 1, which is just 3, isn't it? So it's 12 minus 3, and the answer, of course, is. 12 minus 3, the answer is 9, right? Now this example, um, 18 times this guy, we've got to use the distributive property. So I'm going to multiply 18 in here and here. So I'll get 18 times 2 thirds minus 18 times 1 ninth. Now, what I'd like you to do, I guess, is write 18 as a fraction at this step, the next step, write 18 as a fraction. How about 18 over 1? See that? In both uh, places. And then cross cancel common factors. Right? So there's, what about this? 3 into 3 goes once, 3 into 18 goes 6 times. Right? So you get 6 times 2, 12, over 1 times 1 is 1. How about this guy? That's, of course, 12, isn't it? 12 over 1 is just 12. So 12 minus what? Well, let's see. 9 into 9 goes once. 9 into 18 goes 2 times. So we get 2 times 1, which is 2, over 1 times 1, which is 1. So you just get your know, 12 minus 2, which is 12 minus 2, 10. Right. So this thing becomes 10.